Let's go ahead. We are going to be checking out Brittany's shop next. And Brittany's got Paw for Perfect Pet Treats. You're welcome, Geraldine. Perfect Pet Treats, another star seller. Good to see. I like to see this uh, all my star sellers here. So let's see. We've got some peanut butter bacon jam thumbprint dog cookies. That's ridiculous. Those sound like something I would buy at a fancy coffee shop. Uh, thumbprint, they probably not taste nearly as good though. There's, I don't think these are going to be what I'm what I'm into. These are your best sellers. Okay, good. Look at yeah, I can tell. I mean, they look great. You know, it's kind of funny. You sell something for a dog, but you want it to be looking so delicious that regular, you know, that I want to eat it myself. Uh, let's see. So your first photo here, nice, shows it off. It's a little, a little funky with the coloring. The lighting is, um, overall it looks good, but it, um, this one looks good. These ones down here look really drab though, especially this guy. I don't even know if I would have these photos on here. So let's see, 24 items. And one thing I'll say, guys, is, is you, to, to continually grow your shop, you just got to keep putting more and more products. And I would say this is definitely true for you, Brittany, where you got 24 items. Um, and then the same thing for you, Geraldine, just putting more listings into your shop is very, very important uh, to, to grow your listings. Christina, if you got a question about the star seller, just go ahead, pop it in there for us. Um, so let's check. This one's cool. I like this one here. Peanut butter. I just like the image that it's got all the dog bones, um, you know, popping out like that. So we got peanut butter, banana dog treats, peanut butter dog treats, banana dog treats, organic dog treats, artisan dog treats. And here we go. We've got some colors. PB banana. Okay. One dozen, two dozen one with a treat jar so a few things on this one this part i'm confused about because i see all of these different colors and i don't really know what you're showing me this for because i don't see anywhere to choose any colors um so that creates a bit of confusion because then people aren't totally sure are they going to get it where it's blank or are they going to get one that's going to be purple um so maybe i think you need to add a section here where they can select their color if that's kind of the option that you're going for here and peanut butter banana dog treats made to order with all natural ingredients so i would give them yeah an option where they can choose their color and then also a photo of the treat jar would be nice because I don't know what the treat jar looks like. I don't know how big it is. I don't know how many treats are going to fit. And I don't know what how it latches, this, that. Yeah, there's, there's just no information here about the treat jar. So I would like to see a photo of the treat jar as well on your listing. And September 9th, so that's a you know, few weeks old. Um, I would go ahead and put that. Uh, go ahead and renew this listing, you know, as long as it's a good listing of yours that you like and, and keep renewing it, keep pushing it. So let's see, this must be your treat jars, treat jars, pet jars, food jars, pet food containers. We've got boy and girl. So a few things with this one. Um, it looks like you've got three jars here. We got a blue, had me at woof, another blue, and then a pink one. I don't know which one's which though, because um, why well, I'm guessing the girl is this pink one here, but you've got two for the boy. So I would do what you should do is set, give them three options. You could do light blue, blue, and pink. And um, I would go ahead and show them. You could um, here. I'll show you on the membership site. We have a little video here that will show you how to connect your um, products to specific, um, your, your images to a specific dropdown. So let me show you this one right here. Etsy image variation selection guide. So this little video is real simple, uh, Brittany, and it's gonna show you how to, so when somebody clicks on girl, it will show them the girl product. When they click on boy, it will show them the boy product. However, I'd rename them to, you know, light blue, blue, and pink. Um, cause uh, otherwise they're not going to know which one they're getting when they select boy. And then for these photos right here, I think these would look a lot better if you put treats into them. 
um, because since they're transparent, you can see like this one is almost impossible to read. And, um, and then when you have got this background with wording on the back, it makes it even harder to read. So it's difficult to read. You know, you had me at woof when there's text on the wall behind it and then there's, you know, nothing in the jar. So just putting some stuff in the jar would be good to have. And then Jackie's got a great question. What size is the jar? And I think that's good to know too. So once you work on those photos there, you can go ahead and come back to this listing and then you can add in a photo of the, uh, the pet jar, the treat jar. However, I think I probably just do one treat jar. I, I, Cause if you show them all three photos over here, but again, you don't give them a way to select a different size or a different color, then people are gonna get frozen and they're not gonna know, well, am I getting the pink one? Am I getting the blue one? Maybe just put the blue one in there so that it's kind of you know generic and everybody can figure it out.